G'day! Welcome back to Civ Tech Ages. This is episode 51. So guys, last flaming episode, we set up our water wheel and our gearbox and some axles and all that good stuff. We also, check this out, check this out. We also brought water from the mountain. That's right, using aqueducts. So we set up our aqueduct system here, going up all the way into the mountains. It's bloody brilliant absolutely brilliant guys so um the plot like it is a little bit laggy and i think i know the reason why uh this water is a little bit like gives you a little bit less frames and that's because the aqueducts is causing block updates on every single one of these aqu aqueducts constantly and it, it's yeah since it's such a long aqueduct i can imagine getting getting a little bit of a frame frame loss there so the plan is to turn it on and off like turn the water on and off when we need water we can switch a button and water comes flowing down and starts powering everything and uh, all that good stuff so but for now we're gonna have to turn it off manually um guys and it seems that i've set this up a little wrong <laughs> that's right since last episode um pretty much this this gearbox and, and axles and stuff run things like this the millstone apparently on the bum end of the millstone is a connection for the axle to plug on in i was like "Ooh, that's pretty cool that's gonna allow us to automate no more hand cranking it's literally gonna be the water wheel water wheel is gonna do all the work you know, it's gonna sit there and uh, yeah grind up all the stuff in the millstone automatically for us it's gonna be bloody brilliant i think it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be fantastic does other things too like if we bring up our questing system when we make the turning table apparently also that is going to require um like the axle as well being connected into the bum end so flame and galav we've sort of designed it a little bit wrong eh? and i don't think it can be can be flipped unfortunately so we got the axle sort of sitting wrong it needs to be facing upwards so i was thinking just hear me out i was thinking we turn off the water, yep, and then we move this entire setup down, so it allows us on this level to walk out, and then this, yeah, the wooden axle is pointing up instead, which will be right here. Yeah, how cool would that be? So I think, let's head on over before dark hits, because it looks like, yeah, it looks like the sun is setting. So we'll head on over to the mountainside here, and we'll just uh, turn off the water eventually, we're going to have an on and off switch, I think. Um, so we can just control the water from in the mountain um, from the main base. So that will be like our eventual um, goal of things, if you know what I mean. Flame and galah. So come on up. We'll quickly turn it off manually. There she is. All right, turning the water off. There we go. Water is now shutting down. No more water in the aqueducts. So we'll go ahead and head back down to Ironwood now. Well, I think we'll sleep really quickly. Oh, there's a rock. I thought there was a rat or something. Um, we'll go sleep really quickly, and then we're going to move it down by one. Then I think we'll craft our next quest item, which is the turntable, and hook that sucker in. That's going to be brilliant. It's still going. I can hear it downstairs cranking over. All right, get in here. Do, do, do. Add some Z's. And daytime. Alright, sun is rising now. Fantastic. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll, water wheel. Let's go down there first. First things first. Bloody struth. Okay, so the water has completely stopped. The aqueducts has uh, stopped all the water. Everything is done. So now what we'll do is break her back up. Yep, break this up. Break this up. We know how to set it up now. So it should be pretty relatively freaking easy to do. Grab it all back. And remember, we're just moving it down. So bring down by a few blocks. I would say flatten off a little area down here. Let's go ahead and do that. We can't we can't be too low. But it can't be too high either. So I think right here is probably going to be the perfect spot to stick it. Um, try aim at exactly the same spot as before. Which was what? Rough, roughly there. And then we'll go ahead and grab that water wheel. How do we have two water wheels? Did we break it and doubled it? How? I didn't think we had two water wheels. Okay, did we just find a bug? Hang on, I'll break it again. Breaking. 
breaking. Okay, I got three water wheels. Uh oh, I found a duplication glitch. That is definitely not good. Okay, do not use the duplication glitch. We did not attain these correctly, so we'll go whoop it easy. Uh, I guarantee you can exploit the crap out of that. But there we go. We're getting all these extra water wheels now, which require cogs and gears and stuff like that. <laughs> Flame and galah. Well, that's interesting. Exploit found. Um, so it was definitely about, I'd say about there. Go ahead and put that on, which is going to connect that. So now if we come out the side by one, and then we have it go into the roof by one, grab the gearbox, stick it in, and it's facing the wrong way. We had problems with this last freaking episode, like making this freaking gearbox work properly. But there we go. So that there is done, and we'll have the water obviously run underneath it. So we'll just fix that up nice and neatly. And the water flows down there like that. And we'll take care of all this. There we go. So when the water's turned on, it's... Oh, jeez. I need more freaking... What's it call it? We can put that installed there. And there we go. All right. So let's try get this gearbox around the right way. That's probably my, my next challenge. Come on, gearbox. Go around the right way. No, it's not gone. Maybe it needs to be running. It worked perfectly last time. Yeah, oh, there you go. It's plugged in the right way. Fantastic. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. So water comes down here, flows down there, and uh, flows... Actually, we got... No, I don't have any slabs on me. And flows underneath the water wheel and just sort of plumps out the other side here. Not going anywhere else. Perfect. Okay, let's go upstairs and we'll do the first test run of... Come over here. There, so yep, that looks pretty perfect to me. The water is definitely going to still spill down there, but check this out. We should have access to placing things down on top of it. How cool is that? And you probably find there is things to place other ways, but hey, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. Um, but we'll come back up here grab ourselves the millstone which is going to be our first test guinea pig see if this is actually true but this should should be actually we can check look at there you go there's the hole underneath we plug that straight into the axle here but dump <laughs> blocked uh too many slower blocks around it okay whatever i just uh, that would that's oh come on really there you go so what no, okay, so maybe the front. Okay, it can have stuff at the back, but it can't have stuff there. That's kind of silly. What about slabs? Can we can we do slabs? You reckon, reckon we can do slabs? I don't know. There's one way to find out. Go ahead and um, where is some slabs? Flaming galah. There's a slab. You know, you never know. It might be too much solar block, so we'll just get some slabs and put one down. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ta-da! Fix the problem. That's right. When these items start spitting out everywhere, fix the problem. Okay. And what we'll do is just add a, a bum end to this here. Like that. And we can put some torches on. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. All right. That's right. There's no water to call. Alright, so we need water now. <laughs> we need to turn the water back on. Make sure this is going to work. That we've just moved around. Uh, back out here. Ronald, this is going to be the problem about turning the water on and off. Is running all the way back. But it's, it's going to be totally worth it. Um, you know what? I need to move my garden. Now that I've got access... No, I'm going to move... I'm going to use a bucket for that. It'd still look cool to have an aqu aqueduct going, I suppose. But we'll come on up here. And turn this sucker back on. Flows back down the aqueducts. All right, off it goes. Brilliant. All right, let's head, let's see if we can beat it back down the bottom really quickly. Whoa! We can do it. We can beat it. We can so beat that. Go, 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 go. We can so beat it down there and watch this thing turn on. This should look freaking epic. Whoa! Oh, yeah. 
Boom, boom. All right, where is it? Um, grab dirt. And here it comes. Here comes the water down the aqueducts. She's slowly coming, flooding down. And she should power the water wheel now. All right, water wheel not turning. What do we do wrong? It's the bum end, I reckon, right here. Why is it not turning now? What did we do wrong? Okay. All right, we'll go downstairs and find out. Why is she not turning? It'll be it'll be something so simple, like it's too close to the ground, maybe? It can't be the gearbox, can it? Let's take this off. No? It's definitely not. She is not turning, and I don't know exactly why. Let's take out this one, this one, this one, maybe this one. Oh, there's water leaking freaking everywhere now. Whoopsie daisy. Flame and galah. All right, maybe it's too close to the ground. See that? So, take out this. We'll find out the problem. Turn, almighty will turn. All right, maybe it's this section. Okay, the water wheel is not... Oh, is it the torch? Can't be the bloody torch, can it? It was the bloody torch! Ah, oh. Flame and galah. Just, just one single freaking thing. That's all it was this whole freaking time. And fixed. Okay. Alright, we need torch. We need a torch in here anyway. There we go. A couple of torches down here. Okay, well now it's running perfectly. Grab our axle back up here and plug it in there like that. She's running. She's running. I don't know what to grind up. Does this, does that grind up anything? Look, she's grinding up something. <laughs> yes! Automatic millstone. Not having to pull that freaking lever any longer. That's bloody brilliant. Look at it. And it should go pop. Did it pop? Nothing. Uh-oh. I don't know where that item would have would have went, but hey, it's working. How do you, you like turn it off? That's ridiculously loud. Uh, let's grab this back. There you go. We'll place that on the side for now. Just so she's not plugged in. <laughs> Alright, on to our next thing. We're gonna need. Yeah, we're going to need a turntable, which is going to allow us access to buckets. Um, you know, good old-fashioned, our very first clay bucket, but hey, not an iron one. Um, what is it? Turntable. Turntable. All right, should be fairly straight. Ah, oh, we need another freaking wooden axle. Oh, you're bloody joking, right, mate? That's that's literally a, the black quartz comes from, I'm pretty sure, if I'm correct... Oh, please, please not correct. Travel to the bottom of the beneath dimension and find black. No! Dun, dun, dun. That is such a pain in the bum. T no. Actually, it's the, the other stuff that was a pain in the bum. Whatever it was. I forgot what it was now. This, this stuff. So I guess I could just go do some strip mining. It's probably faster to get that. What else do we freaking need? I need to start a checklist now. Yeah, I need to start a checklist. All right, that's fine. What else? Um, uh, these things. Saw, 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 saw. Okay, birch planks. Planks turn into. Um. Okay. So it looks like we grab some. Literally, this saw. We need a saw, and I guess it plugs into this freaking thing. All right. What's a saw? Okay, fine. Give us a saw. Oh, bloody crikey. What the flaming galah is all this? Leather belt should be pretty easy. It's a slime ball, clag, blood. Yep. Yeah. All right, so the cordage is no problem. We can we can do that. We can we can do that. That's fine. Uh, copper gear, copper gear, bronze gear. Um, some bronze around stone. And that should be fine. And then planks. That's it. Plank oh, this flint saw blade. Which is around tin gear. Ooh. 
So I need tin. So it looks like I'm going to need a bloody hammer out a lot of freaking stuff. Flame and galah. It's just, just my freaking luck. So let's go turn off the water and gather up these freaking resources just so we can get this done. I knew, I knew, I knew questing couldn't be easy forever. Well, we've had a couple of easy quests. Now it's going to give us some freaking hard stomping quests. First thing, let's turn off the water. Um, I might travel to the beneath first, or, or, or do the. I've got leather. I've got like 10, 10 leather back at the campsite, so I could go back there and grab that. It's just the quartz I'm gonna need to make the saw blade, tin gears and stuff. A meh. It's just oh really. It's just hammering out things. That's all that pretty much is. So at the end of the day, I am happy to do that off cam. All right, block off that. The aqueducts are now turned back off. Uh, it's going to be a pain in the bum running back and forth, but it needs to be done. Ouch. I fell into the cave. Uh, yep, aqueducts are turning off. We can just, you know, use this as a little bit of a highway now. Just so we don't have to walk all the way around. That's totally fine. Go, 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 go. And... Alright, that's now turned off. Oh. And boom. Alright, that's all fixed up. Okay, so probably first things first. Let's go pick berries. Yep, pick berries. Because I'm dreading going back to the beneath. But how hard... We found quartz pretty early on. Um, in the beneath. Let's let's see if my luck is going to be like that first off. Grab some berries. I've got a secondary pick. I've got plenty of torches. So I should be okay to do this. And yes, my horse is back in a hole because he broke his lead and got out the silly bugger. So let's go ahead and head to the beneath real quick and I'll just test my luck. Let's do this. Boom. Boom. To the beneath. I f You're burning. No, I hate that freaking noise. All right, I'm here to the beneath. So come down the stairs. This was pretty easy to do last time. So come down the stairs. This takes us literally down and deep on the floor of the beneath. And then we sort of started going straight. No, straight? No, we didn't go straight. We literally dug it out here. Or did we go this way? All right, let's just have a quick squeeze around. Just to, just to test my luck. You don't know. And we'll just go straight. We're, we're strip mining. Right now. Literally strip mining. What is up? I'm just having a look around because... Literally... Good on my... Ouch. On my old server... Um, people used to always dig out the dirt blocks because hidden behind the dirt blocks sometimes was veins of ore and I was just seeing, you know, you know how you're trying my luck but it's not working it's not working, we know for a fact the level that I'm on spawns quartz how far, how much I have to dig I don't know oh marble, marble's nice as long as we don't hit any stone that we can't act like un not dig up what is this? Clay? Really? Ow. Clay's fine by me. How big is the clay patches down here? I was running around the freaking, um... I was literally running around bloody, um... What's we call it when it could have been digging down here? Look at how much clay there is. There's a lot of clay down here, guys. That's a good tip right there. I was literally running around the swamp, getting tons of this stuff to make those freaking aqueducts. And it spawns in, like, decent-sized patches down here. Okay. Well, that's that's good to know. That is really good to know. Um, okay. We can always try poke hole mining. Where you literally, you go like this. And you look down it, you don't see anything. And you go like this. <laughs> Everybody remembers this. No, it feels like I'm playing vanilla Minecraft right now. Okay, I think it's time to wrap it up, guys. I'm going to spend some time down here. See if I can't hunt down some of this black quartz stuff. It It's probably easy running around the beneath floor. But, you know, I'm not game enough to do that. Because there's nasty mobs that want to do very nasty things. So, we'll just keep on digging around down here until I find 
At least a patch. Come on, a patch or two? I might do a patch or two down here. We'll see, we'll see. Alright guys, thanks for watching episode 51 here of Civ Tech Ages. Don't forget if you're enjoying the content, you know what to do. Smash all those buttons, leave a like, comment below, share on your favourite social media, it'd be much appreciated. And I'll catch us all later. Oh, <laughs> oh,